Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. We are back in Johannesburg and not just anywhere in Johannesburg, we are here in Benmore, one of its most affluent areas, just a stone's throw away from Santon at a luxury four-story mansion. Now this home has got so many incredible features and I want you to come along with me and let's take a look at them. Come on, let's have some fun. So coming through the solid oak door, you are greeted with stunning edging on the stairs leading up to the mezzanine level. And throughout this home, what you'll notice is how it uses light and shapes to really emphasize how much of an architectural masterpiece it is. But right here, we're on the mezzanine level. And if you look over this balustrade, you'll find yourself looking down onto the sunken lounge. Now the sunken lounge is carpeted with the same edging material you saw when you walked through the front door. It also has built-in couches for you to enjoy and relax while you do watch TV. But really what makes the sunken lounge so special is this incredible fireplace with its smokestack leading all the way up, nearly four stories into the roof. But not only that, just behind the fireplace, you can look into your very own wine cellar after lockdown. We all know how much I like wine and I'm most certainly gonna be visiting that wine cellar. But I love these balustrades. I love how all of these elements mesh together and the design elements come together so nicely. But this sunken lounge also faces floor to ceiling glass wall looking out onto your carport. So take a look at that and I'm gonna wrap around and show you what the rest of this house has to offer. Now, from that sunken living room area, you have two ways of walking into this formal dining room area. The one was where you came from and the other was just around the back here. Plenty of space in this formal dining room area. This is a 10-seater table that fits really comfortably here. Then we've also got that smokestack acting almost like a design element coming over the wall and right over there from the third floor, you can look down into your formal dining room area. I love how it has been developed. I love the design elements of this home. It is incredible. As as well as these windows here, three of them going across this hallway, massive windows that open all the way up onto one of the coolest entertainment areas I think we have ever seen. But there's so much more to show you about this house and really, why wait? Let's take a look at the kitchen. So coming down that hallway, we find ourselves in this kitchen. Beautiful Caesar stone all around you. Really spacious kitchen, really well equipped kitchen. So we've got a melee cooktop. This is induction. We've then got right over here, both a melee oven as well as a melee microwave. We've got water filtration from the sink, a melee fridge, which is probably one of the biggest fridges I've ever seen in the house. Then display cabinets above as well as right in front of me, you've got your security system. There are cameras that surround the house and all of it gets piped right into your kitchen here so you can see it from anywhere. This kitchen then leads directly out into the entertainment area. But let me run this way because I want to show you this here. I think it's such a cool feature is you've got an open display cabinet right over here looking into your kitchen. Again, creating almost an art piece. Right over here, you've got your breakfast nook. So many things to talk about. Extractor fan. Then another awesome feature that you might miss are these shelves here that are lit individually, drawing so much attention to them and really keeping it as a standout feature. Here are four really cool features to talk about in this kitchen before we leave. There is down lighting underneath the cupboards as well as above the cupboards, giving you such a cool effect. Then we've got your very own wine chiller built in on the right hand side, exactly where all your cupboards are. And then right next to your induction cooker, you've got a teppanyaki grill. So if you really want to go out there with some of your meals, this kitchen is for you. 
and this home has got so much so much so in fact that it's so easy to get lost so what we want to do now is let's take you from the kitchen to the scullery area let's show you that and then we can take a tour around the rest of the home now walking into the scullery the first thing you'll notice is again caesar stone countertops throughout the scullery you've got plenty of under counter storage beautiful laminated wood storage and then on the other side you've got a massive sink there with your center wash drawer as well as a door that leads outside and if you go through that door and wrap around the back of the house with an easy walking distance you'll find a laundry room with plenty of space for all of the elements you need to keep them out of your house to keep the humidity out of your house and also to keep the noise out of your house now located just behind your formal dining room area you'll find your half bathroom which is super well equipped with really high-end porcelain you've got your single vanity there a mirror that stretches from wall to wall with backlighting and then your soft clothes toilet Located adjacent to the kitchen, you'll find another bedroom or what is currently being utilized as an office space right now. This bedroom is slightly smaller than the other bedrooms in the home, but it does come with its own aircon as well as a shower and single vanity just off behind a door on the one side. The other door, behind door number two, is a big storage space that can be used either to house kitchen equipment or anything currently related to your office. Now, coming out of the kitchen, where we find ourselves is the formal living room area. Now, this living room area again continues that entertainment theme. You then right up on this wall, we see all the speakers there, JBL providing you all the tunes you need when you are entertaining guests. I also love the lattice work of this wall and the way it plays with the artwork behind it. Like I mentioned, this home is a work of art. Then if we walk from this formal dining room area back into this long open passageway again, we've got a sliding door here that opens out onto the outside area where the pool is, where all your tanning decks are, where your outside bra is, as well as the bar area. But before we show you any of this, let's wrap up the second level. Let's show you the bedrooms. Let's show you all the other features located right here. And then outside we go upstairs. And the last thing we're gonna show you is the incredible view that this home has to offer. Now, moving into this hallway, this is where three of the bedrooms found on this floor are located. Now, all of these bedrooms also have ensuite bathrooms, but right here, front and center, as soon as you come down this long hallway, you find yourself looking at this incredible display cabinet showcasing any art you've accumulated through your travels, any photos, any portraits. I love how it's here. I love how your attention comes straight to it, and I also love how it spices up a relatively unassuming hallway. But right over here is the first bedroom we're gonna take a look at, so come with me. Let's see what bedrooms within this mansion look like. So we've switched things up. This room has got mirrors located almost everywhere and my cameraman is very, very shy. So he's decided to have me come from the outside area and it's really cool because this bedroom, as well as the other bedroom, both have access to your own exclusive outside area that we're gonna definitely show you. But here we are, first bedroom, you can see massive, absolutely massive right here. It's been turned into an almost office space. You know, if you've got children, if you've got kids that want their own space, that want their own lounges, this bedroom's perfect. On my right-hand side, ensuite bathroom. And then there is a built-in safe in this room, a walk-in safe. So really, if you all about those valuables, if you're Scrooge McDucking, this room is all for you. We'll show you that built-in safe. But coming along this way is walking into your sleeping area. This year, we've got a king-size bed here, fits absolutely easily. We've got now our TV over there. So if you're into watching TV into bed, this room again caters for it. Down lighting throughout the room, air conditioning in this room as well. And then sliding glass door leading into that outside entertainment area. Let's take a look. And here we are within this fabled outside entertainment area that I spoke to you so much about. Fire pit located right here with this built-in seating all the way around. You can throw some cushions on there and have a really awesome, awesome time here enjoying a fire. Lighting built in as well. Then on my left-hand side, we've got some privacy shields blocking off the grass area from the rest of this entertainment area. If you've got some pets, I'm sure they're gonna love having their own private place to play. Now, if you take a stroll through the grass area, you'll wrap around the back of the home where your laundry room is 
is located. There are also two cottages there or staff quarters that are fully equipped with a kitchen, bedroom, as well as ensuite bathroom. So you know that you've got that covered. But there's so much more to talk about here as well because if you walk this way, we walk onto some decking. Now this hasn't been finished up yet, but you can see the thought process. You can see the design elements. We've got a charcoal fireplace right there, some lighting around the home, as well as these built-in speakers. When I say this is an entertainer's dream, I mean it. Now, I wanna also show you this right over here while we're here. See this awning? Now this awning has got something to do with the second bedroom we're gonna show you in a moment. So let's run all the way back in and around to that bedroom and I'm gonna talk about what this awning does. Now, before we leave this bedroom, let's talk about that ensuite bathroom. You've got a bathtub, absolutely massive mirror there that can be then turned up for some extra storage space. You've got a single vanity and then your toilet located just to the right of it. And here we are, we've toured the first bedroom. This is the second right here and the theme continues with space in all the bedrooms. So plenty of space here for a bed. Obviously you've noticed that right over here is a walk-in closet. So you open that door, you've got plenty of cupboard space. Then we've got an ensuite bathroom on the right hand side, bathtub, toilet, sinks, under counter storage, your single vanity, massive mirror. I love how all of these bedrooms are so well equipped, but let's swivel around because what I want to show you is that awning and what that awning does. So this bedroom has something really cool. It has its very own sunroom and above me are all windows. That awning can open up and flood this room with light, with air if you open up the windows. It must make it such a nice place to sit, read a book, or as it is outfitted right now, exercise. I love what they've done there. It's so unique. You definitely don't see that in a lot of South African homes. And here we are finally within the creme de la creme, the master suite. And today I have a guest cat who's gonna walk around this room with me and show you some of the coolest features. The first thing that probably stands out the most is just over there, you'll see you also have access to your security system. It's piped into all the TVs around the house. Now this room, what I really like about it is just the way the ceiling arcs and curves around you. It really gives this room a special feeling, specifically when you talk about it in relation to the other two bedrooms. Plantation style shutters here, sliding door that leads outside into your garden area, and just over here, a sunroom flanked by shutters that would make the perfect reading nook. Incredible furniture, I really like how all of this has been done, but that's not all. Let's run around this side. Plenty of space for even the biggest beds. You've got an area that, that's so nicely lit if you wanna showcase any more art. Again, speakers built into this room, aircon, fan, and walk-in closet. And here it is, your walk-in closet. Every single closet flanked with a mirror makes this place look very, very big. But also, if you wanna make sure you spick and span before you go out, which I don't really think I'll make the cut, but this is exactly where you wanna be. So much storage. And then, there's a little secret room right here. This, 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 this mirror opens up into your ensuite bathroom. Let's take a look. And through the mirror we go into Wonderland. I'm not sure entirely if Alice went through a window into Wonderland, but here we are within your ensuite bathroom for your master bedroom. And this bathroom is kitted out to the nines. We've got two inbuilt heaters as well as lights on the wall behind me. We've got a jacuzzi bathtub sunken into the floor, walk-in shower with absolute massive rainfall shower head. Then there's a bidet as well as toilet just off in a private area on the corner of this bathroom. What I love about this house as well is every single toilet has soft closed toilet seats and you know, I'm a big fan of those. Then not one, but two vanities, massive mirror and plenty of under counter storage. This bathroom also has a special feature and I'm sure you've noticed that my cameraman is not sharing this area with me because it leads out into your very own outside private Waldorf garden area. So now we need to talk about this outside area and it is such a special outside area in fact that we've waited for the sun to go down so we can showcase the lighting and the mood you're going to get when utilizing these entertainment areas. On my right hand side absolutely massive pool with not only the stunning blue lighting but also you've got a tanning deck built into the pool, a sun deck. You can put some, some tanners down there, relax, let your feet 
get a little bit cold, enjoy yourself, enjoy the sun. And if getting into the pool is not your thing, just above the pool you've got a wooden tanning deck situated in the perfect position for you to catch the best tan. But that's not all. We've got this incredible space here for an outside dining room table and then an outside living area just to the left there, a lounge area with seating. And on my right is my favorite area. So let's take a walk over there. This down lighting leads you to your outside pool bar. Caesar stone countertops, plenty of seating and so much privacy that's provided by the cycads that are planted around your whole pool area. It lets you really feel like you're living in a mansion in Beverly Hills, but really. What is a pool bar without cracking a couple of cold ones open? And underneath this bar you have not one, not two, but four under counter fridges for you to utilize whenever you see fit. But we've got the drinks. Where's the food? We've got a gas briar right over here, lit up, beautifully big. Really, if you're entertaining big groups of people, this is exactly where you want to be. But right over here, we have a fryer, a teppanyaki grill, whatever you want to use it for, this house has got you. It really is an incredible entertainment area with so much beautifully lit areas. The angles, the smells, the sights, the plants, and all the space makes this house one in a million. And we have now covered the second floor, but this home has got so much to talk about and so much to offer. What I'd like to do is let's head down these stairs, take a look at the cinema as well as the wine cellar, and then we're gonna go upstairs and show you all the surprises upstairs has to offer. So follow me and let's get going. And here we are, we find ourselves at the landing at the bottom of the stairs and on my right hand side, a full on cinema room I mean, this is an eight-seater cinema room. I'm just gonna make sure I'm not gonna trip over anything here. Beautiful lighting, down lighting on my left-hand side. These sconces on my right-hand side. Stereo sound. You can see all the speakers mounted in the wall with the amp and everything else that you need right over here. I mean, for all you gamers out there, you can connect the PlayStation to this and play on the big screen. The chairs here have spaces for drinks, have leg rests, really. This is a place where you'd never, ever, ever need to watch TV anywhere else again. I love it, I love that it's warm. And also, another cool feature is this leads off into your garages. This home has three garages, but space for four vehicles. Now, it's hard to beat a cinema room like that, but let's try and show you something a little bit more sophisticated. For all you discerning wine people out there, you've got your very own wine cellar located just behind and underneath the sunken lounge. Perfectly spaced out, beautifully lit, with these boxes all behind me for you to store all the different types of wine your heart desires. I love this feature and I love that it can do this. Let me swivel around here and just show you behind me. This over here is your sunken lounge. This is a fireplace. Can you imagine drinking some green vine here? Cold winter day. Oh, love this home, love what it offers. But we've still got upstairs to talk about, so come with me. So coming up these stairs, you'll find yourself on the third level of this four level home. And let's talk about this entertainment area right here. This entertainment area has its very own bathroom built in, aircon, speakers throughout. This is a theme for this home, but let's talk about this roof because these blinds open up on a remote control, allowing you to enjoy even the sunny days inside. Now, right now, this is customized as a pool area. And something I wanna mention is the owner of this home is very, very willing to sell it with all of the furniture or some of the furniture. So when you do schedule a viewing, make sure you chat to them about what you like in this home and what you'd like to keep. Now, right on the left-hand side, just below the aircon, you'll find your ensuite bathroom. And let's talk about that. A sliding barn door leads on to this ensuite bathroom with a walk-in shower as well as toilet and basin. It gets a lot of light from that north-facing window. Now, coming from the entertainment area, these glass doors lead in to another incredible surprise. We've got an upstairs lounge here, but really let your imagination run wild with what you'd like to do here. Again, entertainment is the focus, 
not only one, not two, not even three speakers built in to the ceiling. We've got running lights around here, LED, aircon. I think this is also a great time to mention that this whole home has underfloor heating. But if we go that way, we're gonna find out exactly what makes this home such a cool entertainment area. Let's go. Now, coming through this sliding door, we find ourselves on the third level outside area. Walking this way, you've got a beautiful view of the pool downstairs, as well as all of the entertainment areas there. We've got a skylight looking down onto your hallway. But really, what is a mansion in Sandton City? What is a mega mansion in Sandton City without one of these? Your very own jacuzzi. And the view from this jacuzzi really isn't too shabby. So why don't you come along here and take a look at what you get right over there. Now some other features upstairs I'd like to mention is again waterproof built-in speakers. We've got down lighting on the tiles leading across the third level and then a spiral staircase that will take you down to your pool area. So we've showed you this outside section but that is not all. I feel like I've said this so many times during this but here we are within another outside section an outside lounge if you will an area to sit and enjoy the incredible almost unobstructed view of the whole of Bryanson we've got beautiful down lighting here all of this is covered with glass so you're still getting lighter even during the daytime but depending on the weather you never need to worry about getting wet in this area now here we are and some of you more astute eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed that little staircase where does that staircase take us let's, let's find out So this staircase with really nicely situated handholds throughout takes you up to the fourth floor or the fourth floor to the rooftop. And when my cameraman decides to take a jump up here, you will see just how incredible this view is. It really is second to none in front of me. I have the whole of Sandton City, views of the tallest building in Africa, the Leonardo, and behind me you have an unobstructed view of Bryanston, Four Ways, and a whole chunk of Benmore. It really is incredible. This area right here has also got your built-in lighting, so you can sit down, enjoy, relax, and just enjoy the fruits of your labor, because living in this house rewards you. But Ladies and gentlemen, that is everything we have for you here today. If you'd like to purchase this house, it is going for 10,500,000 Rand. What a deal for Ben Moore. And who I'd like you to speak to is Dylan Hadass, and his details will be on the screen right now. Call him, schedule a viewing, take a look at this house because I promise you, you will not regret it. So for myself, Chad Riveros, from the team at Private Property, from everyone at the Home Shopper Show, thank you for taking this journey with us. Thank you for all of our loyal viewers who come every time. We love you and we will see you again very soon. Goodbye.